single pole switch. I forgot I had these handy dandy PowerPoints. I was going to draw them out, but there is still some stuff I'm going to draw out. <clears throat> This is just kind of a key. Uh, this is gonna be our conductor, which is gonna be our two conductor, 12-2, 12-2. If it's got three hashes in it, then it's gonna be a 12-3 conductor. Here's our single pole switch. These stand for the terminals on the switch. And we're not gonna be have the grounds aren't anywhere in here uh, on these power points. And here's our light. White wire is blue, dotted blue line, black wire, Red wire. Okay, so our 12 2 is coming in. What color wires are on the 12 2? Black and white. Black and white. <clears throat> so our white is coming in and it's just going to tie together in the box. Then it's going to go out and go straight to the light. Okay. The hot coming in is going to feed to one of the terminals on our switch. Does not matter which one. Okay, because it's just a switch, it's just open and close it, right? We're gonna come off there. So this is our line. I'm gonna refer to our hot coming in as line and then hot going out as load, going to the load, to the light, okay? So line coming in the switch, coming out, going to the light. That one's easy, right? You're just breaking, making and breaking the hot. This is the same thing, except if we were going to feed the light hot. So in the cases that you would do this, is if you're wanting to save wire. We, if our light, if we're, our home run is in coming from, I don't know, the garage, and we get to the light before we go to the switch, instead of having to go past the light to the switch and then back to the light, we can just feed to the light and just one wire down to the switch or one cable. So this is how you do that. And it's called a switch loop, is what it's called. This is actually no longer legal, as far as the NEC goes by. But, you will see it, and that's why I have you guys wire it, and, and, uh, and draw it out and see it, because you will see it in a lot of places. The reason it's not legal is because there won't be any neutral in the switch box. Uh, and there has to be a neutral in the switch box for that circuit. So, <clears throat> Our 12-2 coming in to the light. Our neutral is obviously it's just going to go straight to the light. This is our hot. It's going to wire nut to the white going to the switch. Okay, but we are going to re-identify this white wire with black tape. You can do that. You can use white wire as a hot just as long as it's identified with black. So this is our line coming into the switch, right? And then we're gonna use the black wire as our load and go to the light. And it makes kind of like a loop. That's why it's called a switch loop. Okay, because you're just feeding down to the back. Okay, now this one can be a little bit tricky. So we're feeding light, then light, then switch. So our switch, we're still a switch loop, but we've got two lights coming in. You're gonna to have to run a 12-3 between the two lots, okay? And here's why. This is what's the most tricky about residential wiring, switching, is because you have to figure out, okay, how many wires am I gonna to have to need from this point to this point? So you know what size, what type of cable to pull, 12-2 or 12-3, one of the two. So, because we gotta know that we gotta pull a 12-3 from that light box to that light box and then 12-2 down the switch. So our neutral, you just go into the lights, okay? Then our hots, gonna to tie together to the black one on this one, tie together here, to the white on this one. We're identifying this one as a hot, the white wire. And then our load here. And then also, this is a 12-3, so there's a red wire in it, right? So that red wire is tying in right here to feed this light as well. See that? 